Hey y'all, welcome back to Black Mamas Do Science. This is a science channel that I do with my son and we are exploring all the science experiments you can think of. This week, we will be looking at how to make our own bubble solution. So if you don't know how to do it, neither did we. So let's explore together. Okay y'all, these are the ingredients you will need to make your bubble solutions. So since we're making two separate bubble solutions, you will need two cups of water, one cup for each solution. Then you'll need a container to hold your bubble solution in. I just found some bottles around the house. I used a cap so that we could close it up and use it for later and also because Dax spills things. And then the next ingredient you will need is dishwashing soap. So I just used what we had at the kitchen, uh, Dawn, and you'll need four tablespoons of the dishwashing soap. Then you will need glycerin and light cor corn syrup, light corn syrup. You will need two tablespoons of each of those things. So one solution we use the glycerin, the other solution we use the corn syrup. So our experiment is going to be exploring what solution held the bubbles the best. So which ones lasted longer? That's what we want to find out today. So we are going to need your help to judge and let us know which ones you thought did the best in our experiment. Okay, y'all, so once y'all have y'all ingredients, go ahead, sit down. Like I said, pour your one cup of water, your two uh, tablespoons of glycerin or corn syrup. It's corn syrup, corn syrup. So you'll need your two tablespoons of corn syrup and two tablespoons of glycerin inside of your bubble solution. And then four tablespoons uh, each in each solution of Dawn or whatever. I'm not just endorsing Dawn, but any kind of dishwasher soap that you have around the house. And then you will need some kind of wand too. So um, we had a broken one from Dax breaking a, a wand from another project that we had. So we use that, but you can use a wire hanger also. So whatever you think would work best so that you can get inside your container or your bottle and use that as a wand to make your bubbles. So once you have your bubble solution ready, head outside, that's what we did. It looked like it was about to rain, but we got there in time. And so we tried out our bubble solution. Dax, this was his favorite part. I mean, he loves bubbles. So we tried, the first one we tried was our glycerin bubble solution. And so you'll see that. Let us know which one you thought was better. We thought the glycerin one was better. But then we tried the corn syrup one also, and it was a little hard, but I did notice that the glycerin bubbles, sometimes when they landed on the grass, they didn't pop. But with the corn syrup, they did pop. So I don't know, I think there might be something behind that, but we are gonna explore that next. Hey y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We would love to hear how your science experiments are doing and we can't wait to see your next one. So like and subscribe. Okay, y'all, you have made it to the science behind our bubble solution. So as you can see, our bubbles are trapped air and they are trapped by soap film. And that soap film is three very small layers. And so those layers are soap and then water and then soap again. So the water is trapped inside of two layers of soap. And basically when bubbles pop, the water evaporates. And so the film goes away and your air escapes. So what we did differently, because you can make bubbles just soap and water. You don't need the glycerin and you don't need corn syrup. But when we added that, what that does is make our layer trapping our air thicker. So that means that they don't pop as easily, which you know, we saw sometimes when the bubble landed in the grass, it didn't pop. 
So that's why we needed your help. Let us know down in the comments which one you tried and did the glycerin do better or did the corn syrup do better? We had a lot of fun doing this experiment, especially trying out our bubble solution. That was a great activity that lasted all afternoon for Dax. And now I know I can make bubble solution on my own. I don't have to worry about buying bubbles. That was, it was super simple. He liked doing it. So that's a check for me and check for him. So win. And so we hope you enjoyed it and we will see y'all next time. Bye y'all.